Welcome to an overview of workflows in Xman. We provide a number of generic workflows, but these can be configured further. Most businesses work in slightly different ways, so the workflows can flex to your needs. I'm currently in the Xplan dashboard. I've got an overview of workflows I'm tracking on the right hand side and my outstanding tasks on the left hand side. This is configurable as a office manager. I might want to see everyone's tasks within the business. If someone's off sick, I could bulk reassign tasks and see where there's potential bottlenecks. What I'll do is I'll jump into one of the current. And what I can see at the bottom of the screen five tasks within this workflow. We recommend between five to seven tasks, anything more, um, people potentially kind of lose interest if they're getting lots of pedantic tasks. So putting in 50, 60 different tasks within a workflow is probably not a great idea. Top of the screen, I can see an overview of what the workflow is looking to achieve. A summary, so if I'm new to the business or I haven't used this workflow process previously, it just gives me a bit of a memory jogger as to what the workflow is trying to achieve. And ultimately, what a workflow is going to give you is guidance as to what needs to happen within a process, a reminder to make sure you're staying on track, especially with people working from home as well. It gives you line of sight of where things are up to within the business. And most importantly, it's um, a repeatable process. Looking at the tasks at the bottom of the screen, I can see that different people are assigned the tasks. I've got Colin and Max, but I'm doing most of the work. Once a task is completed, the next person is automatically assigned the task. The great thing about the workflows in Xplan is I'm not suddenly going to get a list of all my tasks. It's just going to give me the next one and only show me the next task when that one is actually due. And you can also have due dates within tasks as well. Looking at the first task in a bit more detail, once again, I've got a reminder at the top of the screen what needs to be happening. The great thing about the workflows is I can let the tech do some of the heavy lifting for me. So if I wanted to have an automated email when this task is completed, I can have that happen. I could also have an automated outcome. So say, for example, when this task is completed, it takes me through to a certain screen within Xplan. In this example, I'm going through to Mind Map, which is a nice overview of the client's fact find. I could then plug in any details I need to update. I could also generate a merge document or a portfolio report off the back of that task being completed. There's also lots of valuable management information available, which you can quickly run. These reports could also be automatically generated. Depending on the level of detail I'm after, there's numerous reports which can be run to give you that rich information, to give you oversight of where processes are within your business. And ultimately, that's what workflows are doing, really just giving you that structure to ensure a repeatable process and things aren't missed. Hopefully that's been a helpful um, overview of the workflow process within Xplan. Please contact our sales team for more information. Thanks for your time.